Excuse me. I'm looking for Glenn Hunter. Excuse me. I'm looking for Glenn. Must be Dad's latest stray. May I come aboard? Uh, Owen Powers. Donna, Glenn's daughter. Him and brother Joe will uh, be back any minute. Is there anything you uh, need me to help you with while I wait? Jonas! All this stuff needs to be sewed before we set out tomorrow. Jonas will show you what's what. All right, yeah, you got it. Yeah, no, I'm on it. I'm on it. Hey, on. Welcome to the Black Drum. Thanks. She always that friendly? Rumor has it. The blood runs colder than the Bering Sea itself. Generally prefers family to outsiders. Considers us the necessary evil. You got any tips for me on how to get on a good side? Not sure she has one. It's all right. I like a good challenge. Good luck with that. Come on, let me show you around. Can. Been here five minutes, already done more work than you have all week. Oh, that's the nicest thing you've ever said about a new hire. Trying to get his pants? Hey, don't start you two, will you? I hired him because he's highly motivated. Let me guess, alimony, child support, witness protection program, ex-con? I said knock it off. Now, I've gone over the claim with the metal detector, but I want eyes on it down there, just to be sure. Can you handle that? Seems like a little midnight prospecting's now in order. Get off me. Why are we so far north? I know how to navigate. From what I remember, the cave is south of here. All right, all right. GPS marks the spot. So what's with all the excitement over this claim? Virgin claim. Little rich gold set of it from the glacial melt. State is auctioning it off tomorrow. Rice to work it could be worth millions. Who says you're diving? I'm not gonna be the boat bitch, okay? Any of you know how to run the smart end of the dive equipment? Uh, no, I don't. No problem. Heads I dive, tails you dive. Fine, flip it. Would you look at that? Oh my goodness, what is that? Let me ask you one question. That guitar, can you play it? Or is that just a chick prop? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. You'll okay, see. all right, all chick's right. Chick's prop, it's done me pretty well, so. You certified, newbie? I'm willing to learn. Not tonight. It's your lucky day. No problem. Sit back and watch, John Cougar.
Joe, he's dead. Joe, that's not funny. Stop joking. I'm not joking. Line. Something got him. I think it was a shark. I see a fin. Owen, Owen, wait, wait, wait the anchor. Go, go. Here, come on, Joe. Yeah, get up. Guys, hold on. Good, get in, get in, guys. Hold on tight. You're okay. Which the same could be said for Jonas. You know, after the auction, I'll get hold of Jeb Stewart and we'll go out there and search for Jonas. If we find that shark, we'll kill it. I think we should keep it to ourselves for now. I'm all for breaking the rules, but even I draw the line when it comes to covering up someone's death. We're not covering anything up. We just have to keep us on the low before the auction. Be screwed. How come all of a sudden I'm the voice of morality in this family? Just delay saying anything until after the auction. We'll find Jonas. No one's going to be looking for him. We're the only family he has. All the more reason not to treat him like yesterday's garbage. What if somebody finds his body? Well, it's a risk we'll have to take. I'm not OK with this. It was an accident. It's not like we, we, we murdered him and he killed him. He died on our watch. OK, fine. Family vote. Why even bother? You two share a brain. All right, calm down. It's terrible what happened. But come on, Joe. Don is right. I'll keep my mouth shut. But I don't have to like it. Because anyone who isn't a part of this family is disposable. It's the only reason you're still around. Hey. So has anyone notified the authorities yet? Not yet. Oh, and I'd appreciate it if you don't say anything until after the auction. I don't want to create a panic among the other judges. We'll find Jonas. Yeah, yeah, whatever he feels right. Grand 42. Wow. What's this little baby worth? $2,000. Live for the gold. Die for the gold.
Then we'll start the food chain. Do I have 85,000? I have 85,000. 85,000 is the new bid. 85,000 going once. When we start the bidding, we're going to use an anonymous bidder, so not to reveal our interests. Dad has a six cents for the gold. People knew what Claim 42 was worth. They drive the price right through the roof. Hope we're not after the same claim today, Glenn. Because if I got to compete against you, I'll win. I'm sure you'll get everything you deserve. I always do. I win. Who's that? President Bloodsucker. Currently up for bid, claim number 42, opening at $35,000. I have 35,000. Do I have 40? 40,000. Do I have 45,000? 45. Do I have 50? 50,000. Do I have 55? 55,000. Do I have 60? 60,000. Do I have 70? 70,000? I have 70,000. Do I have 75,000? 75,000. 75,000? 75,000. That's it. That's our ceiling. I can't go anymore. 75,000 going once? Sell it. Take the bid. 75,000 going twice? 80,000. I have $80,000. Do I have 85? That's it. We're out. Do I have 85,000? Dad, I can get us another 10,000. You save your money, kid. Oh, Dad. Do I have 85? Do I have 85,000? I have 85,000. 85,000 is the new bid. 85,000 going once. 85,000 going twice? 100,000. $100,000. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch knew exactly what claim we were after. I did everything to keep him in the dark. Maybe the new guy sold us out. The new guy? He doesn't know enough to sell us out. So, uh, what now? We dredge. Without a claim? I did a little homework in case this didn't go our way. Turns out after a claim is auctioned, there's a seven-day holding period before Thorn can take ownership. Which gives us a whole week to dredge out as much gold as possible. That's my girl. Any gold out of Thorn's pockets makes it twice as sweet. Good job. Thanks, Dad. Let's go. I had a major arrangements with Jeb Stewart, and I'll be going out with him, so make sure you do a good job. It's the least we can do for Jonas. There's gonna be a charge for you. I know, we don't have time for this. I know you're under a lot of pressure, but work together. Work as a family. Hey, Mr. Hunter. With all this commotion, I, uh, I haven't had a chance to thank you for the opportunity to work on your boat this uh, season. Oh, and there are three things to remember to do a good job here. Common sense and affinity to bust your ass and teamwork. And if you're anything like your old man, you'll do a good job. That's all I can hope for, sir. I'm looking for the black drum. Found it. I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, but I discovered the body of one of your divers washed up on the beach this morning. Who are you? I'm Megan Arthur, professor of marine biology from the U of A. How do you, how do you know it was our diver? Diver suit had your logo on it. Where's the body? In my lab. Excuse me? It's just that if I let the coroner collect the body before I could properly research it, his report would claim shark attack. And I believe this to be something other than a shark. Something other? I've been tracking this unknown predator responsible for this large amount of seals washing up along the coast. Is that unusual? It is. Only because they've been exsanguinated. What the hell does that mean? 
entirely drained of blood. And your diver is the first human casualty I'm aware of. Damn sea vampires. Sea vampires? <laughs> Don't listen to him. They're a local legend. And the key word being legend. Care to enlighten me? I think I remember a little bit from elementary school. I think it dates back to the 1800s, started by a wounded fisherman who washed ashore. Locals say that before he died, the fisherman claimed to have been attacked by a sea vampire. A fanged, blood-drinking beast born beyond the icy depths. I need to learn as much as I can about this legend. Tori Center should have all the info you need. You can call me tomorrow about collecting the body. Be careful out there. Up until now, the great white shark was the worst thing known to man. Whatever this is, it's even worse. Son of a bitch! Hang on. You hang on. All right, back it down, back it down, buddy. I'm not driving a cab. Take it easy. Sir. Watch your lines, man. Watch it. Let it out. I am letting it out. Back down a little bit. I Come. am backing it down. I'm coming around. What? Whoa! 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 Hey! Hey! Take this out! Come on! Get down here! Come on! 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 Hey, guys. What? Guys, is there any sort of a compromise that can be made here so that we can stop wasting time and get back out there? This is family business. Yeah, just stay out of it. Heads I dredge, tails you dredge. Why do you always get to pick first? <sighs> Give me that. Two heads. My own brother. You know me. I'll do anything better to odds. I'm in charge, not by default, by your dumbassery. Yeah, whatever. We dig with the excavator. Everything from here goes into the, uh, the grizzly over here. Drops into the sluice box, and this is where we separate the gold and the dirt. We need to move. We got a distress call from Dad. He's in trouble. Let's take the launch. It's at the ramp. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Joe, are you driving? Yeah. Go. Go. Drive. Did he say anything? What happened? I don't know. He sounded like he was in trouble. Come on, Joe. It's right there. 
Hold on, let's get closer. Looks like he's drifting. Do you see him? Oh my god. Go, 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 go. go. Dad! Go, go. Dad! Dad, 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 dad! Check on him. Check his pulse. Check, oh, check his pulse. Right. Donna, is he okay? What do you got? You got it? Is he alive? Go. All right, grab him. Go. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. We gotta get him to the hospital right now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Dad, wake up. Joe, come on. Dredger on the Bering Sea's at risk. All I'm saying is, we gotta figure out what in the hell that thing is before you guys kill him, okay? Well, no. How the hell are, how the hell are we supposed to do that? Ah! Oh, Joe! <laughs> Tracking this unknown predator responsible for this large amount of seals washing up along the coast. Is that unusual? Only because they've been exsanguinated. Entirely drained of blood. Hello? This is Joe from the Black Drum, Professor. It's your lucky day. We caught you a sea vampire. He did whatever you could to warn us. Just, we didn't want to listen. How fast was the incubation? I don't know, a couple of hours. Incredible. 
sorry if we don't share your enthusiasm. I, di I didn't mean to sound insensitive. Look, whatever. I don't, I don't really care. I just, I need you to figure out whatever it is that makes this thing tick so that no one else winds up dying. Meaning you want me to find a way to kill them? Yeah. Smart cookie, Professor. I am so sorry about your father, but I am a scientist, not an exterminator. I have a profound reverence for all life. This is an undiscovered species, and it needs to be properly researched. Well, that's why we brought you here. Research it, pull its guts out, but at the end of the day, we're gonna kill it. Yeah, we are. We'll need to get it to my lab. And how are we gonna do that? Here. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, on three. One, two. So, let's do this. Okay, great. Are you sure it's gonna work? Yes, there's enough chloroform in there to take down a pack of elephants. It's right there. It's right there. Oh my gosh. Give me that thing. Be my guest. Wait, we gotta wait till the gas clears out. Okay. All right, here, I'm gonna open up the door just a little bit. Let it out. Ready? All right, all right, it's right there, it's right there. Get it, ready? Get it, come Get it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Put it in, put it in. Guys, it's away, it's coming. Close it, close it, close it. Stop, stop. Got it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, I would appreciate it if one of you could come with me while I conduct my examination. Yeah, I, I'll go with you. We'll give you two time to be with your dad. I'm going to need him to. What? Excuse me? Well, it just stated inside him. His body will tell me things I need to know. You want me to do this right, don't you? No, you're not touching my father. You need to let me examine him. Otherwise, one of us could become the next human incubator. No, I said no. If I can learn one single thing about the sea vampire that will help us, he wouldn't have died for nothing. We'll take care of Dad, and then we'll warn the others. Fine. They're not even gonna believe us anyway. I'm not kidding. The legend of the sea vampire's real. They're fish by day, but at night they walk on two legs. Thirsty for human blood. This is a matter of life and death. I hear sea vampires can be mighty tasty, battered and fried, served up with a side of tartar sauce. But be careful. I hear when you bite into them, they bite back. Looks good, boys. I'll take both of them. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. <clears throat> Hello there, Don. Thorn. I've known you since you were a little girl. Don't you think it's about time you started calling me Travis? Thorn, have you heard about the legend of the sea vampire? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it turns out there's some truth to it after all. You put me on. I know it sounds ridiculous, but regardless, the water's not safe. I suggest you guys stay on dry land for a couple of days. Your daddy put you up to this? Hmm? A little practical joke for me outbidding him on his claim? Wish it were a joke. How'd you know it was our claim? I'm sorry, what was that? The claim you bid on. How'd you know it was ours? I saw him storm away. It was easy enough to put two and two together. Can I offer you a little piece of friendly advice? Stay off my claim. It's not your claim for another six days. Oh, I beg the difference. Cool. Well, I'll take it up with the state. I'm sure you heard about what happens to people who steal from me. Are you threatening me? No. God, no. Of course not. That's not a threat. This is more of a, a business proposal. Yeah, well, coming from you, they're one and the same. Look, I got the best claim. You got the best rig. You know as well as I do how profitable this claim can be if handled correctly. That's why I need for you to talk to your dad. Convince him to sell his entire operation over to me. That way he can retire in comfort and you and your brother 
can come work for me. It's a win for everyone involved. Dredging is my family business, and you are not my family. Baby girl, I would get down on my knees and propose this very night. I knew it'd sweeten this deal. Shut up. Jimmy, get the boys together. It's time we put those hunters out of business permanently. Everyone thinks we're a joke. Even I can't wrap my brain around this. But whatever, we warned them, right? That's what Dad would have done. To Dad. To Dad. I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. He taught me everything I know about everything. Now, Thorne was telling me something really strange after the auction, and I was meaning Lucy to tell Lucy Goose, the black drum. Come in, black drum. <clears throat> it's Lucy Goose, come in. It's the black drum. Hey, little lady. Just wanted to tell you, I didn't see any of your sea vampires out there on the water today. But what I did see was a ton of cave gold. And they were all on the new claims. <laughs> He's screwing with us. Well, how do you know? Come on, let's go. Joe, come on. Come on. Kidding. Wait, get down, get down. Get down. Thanks. We gotta get away from the water. Let's make a run for it. No, we can't. They're getting ready to attack. How do you know that? Because they're diving and gain momentum. There, there, there. Go, go. for our next move. Great. Did you hear that? No. What about now? I wish I did, but I did. what you uh, dug up on the legend? Yeah, not much to go on. The legend, originating from a dying fisherman washed ashore off the coast of Nome in the late 1800s, has proven to be of much interest to the locals and visitors. There's also an account of a man claiming to have survived an encounter with a sea vampire, as well as the record, record of a fishing vessel it was discovered off the coast of Nome. Despite the fact that the weather was fine, the crew had been experienced, and the ship remained entirely seaworthy. I mean, wouldn't you think the discovery of this uh, this ghost ship and this fisherman washing ashore that would, it would connect these two events? Well, most myths are based on some fact. I don't understand. Why is it that we're just finding out about these things now? You were lucky enough to survive a face-to-face -face encounter with a sea vampire. I mean, who could you tell that wouldn't think you insane? You? Other than me. Fair point. I don't even want to believe these things exist. And from what I can glimpse of their anatomy, they resemble most bottom-dwelling sea life. I mean, before underwater diving, the only way a human could encounter them would be if a sea vampire got caught in the net of a fishing trawler. Virgin claims. The virgin what? The virgin claims there's an entire stretch off the coast that's never been dredged before until now. I think that, I think that we were the ones that stirred them up. What do you mean, we? Look, Joe, Donna, and I, we were on a dive there the night that Jonas got killed. Important fact to leave out, don't you think? It wasn't my decision. And I'm telling you now. <sighs> like kicking a hornet's nest. We invade their territory, they defend their territory. Yeah, but 
come on, you really think that these things are responsible for that ghost ship? You saw it in action, you tell me. And this is a newborn. Imagine what a full-blown adult is capable of. All right, one of us has to cast off. I'll flip you for it. All right, heads I win, tails you lose. Let's go. Yo, I'll go. Really? Yeah, I got this. Okay, hurry. Hey, Joe. Be careful, please. Cells are ravaged. They look like broken eggs. It's as if it were feeding on them from the inside out. Take some blood. Oh, wow. This isn't going to work. Yeah, you're not going to get home. Nah, it's moving around too much. So this is going to require a different approach. Uh, can you pass me the camera, please? Sometimes photos reveal things you can't see with the naked eye. Okay. Yeah, down. I'm going to go download this. Yeah, wait, 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 hold on, wait. He's not moving. What'd oh. you do? Oh, great. He's just sitting here. He's okay, well, well, help me get it out of the tank onto the exam table. I'm just playing possum. I mean, come on, the gas didn't last very long, remember? Uh, soft tissue on the underside of its fins. Yeah, that's right where its teeth are. Well, it's a soft spot, though. Less than an ideal place to attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we pissed it off. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go! go. It got loose. We need to stay on dry land. Look, they're coming oh, this guys, way. Run. We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. We gotta move, you guys. We're getting shot down here. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Faster. They're gaining on us. Triple threat, able to hunt on land, sea, and in the air. You do realize that we are the things they are hunting, right? Well, they can't help it. To them, we're just blood bags. Go, 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 go,
What you looking at? Calm down. Hits and Gore's state made it vulnerable. Oh, come on. Dead is dead. You got lucky. It was a one in a million shot. Oh, here we go again. Any ideas, guys? Made you wish we killed him when we had the chance. to kill one. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's where that blood came from. Sorry, I missed it. Well, there's more out there. Let's get to my lab. Any chance I'm dreaming? Feel that? Damn. Maybe we scared them off. I have a theory. I mean, another theory? Bottom dweller scan can't handle extensive sun exposure outside the protection of the water. Would explain why they only appeared on a shower of the dark. Just like real vampires. There are no such thing. Not the day, I wouldn't be so sure. The Flash. The Flash? The flash, the flash is what stunned the infant in your lab. You're right. They would have sensitivity to light. Probably shocked their nervous system, caused a seizure. Yeah, well, can't we use that to our advantage? So let's turn the tables. Let's hunt them. Let's go. Let's do let's that. Go. All right, guys. You know what to do. All right. Let's get going. Come on. Go. He knows what he's doing, right? But it's in the charges. He knows? All right. I'm going in. Hand me the charges. You got it. I got that one. Another one. Thanks. All right. I got him set. All right, let's go. What was that? What is what? Obviously, that didn't work. We gotta regroup, come up with a plan B. I think I got some ideas. coastal areas of Alaska. Warnings for the South, St. Matthews, and Nunavak Islands are at life-threatening levels. Preparations are being made for rescue operations, which are expected to be in epic proportions. 
Everyone is advised to prepare for the worst possible scenario and listen for emergency broadcasts. Storm to the south is preventing anyone from getting to us. We're on our own for the next 48 hours, so I suggest we sit tight, stay off the water and away from the beach. I'm not sitting tight. Those things killed my father. Don't make it personal. This is beyond personal. Those creatures are simply doing what they were born to do. Breed and feed. It's primal instinct, survival of the fittest. I mean, you invaded their turf. They're just defending it. So you're saying that we started this? No, I'm saying that up until now, they were feeding off of one thing, seals. And then your diver came along, they got a taste of human blood, and now they're thirsty for more. Whatever, OK? We only have five days until this claim is, is off limits and it's Thorne's claim. And I, I intend on taking full advantage of all of them. Is it worth risking your life for? Dredging is my life. Joe, Owen, somebody. She's right. It, it's a mistake to go up against Mother Nature. I mean, she always bats last, and she always bats a 1,000. OK, so are we supposed to just sit here and wait for the cavalry to ride in and save us? No, thanks. Our father taught us that not taking matters into your own hands is, is how you get taken down. And who's to say that the Coast Guard can do any more than we can? Right now, if anything, we are these sea vampires experts. Yeah, I never agree with my sister, but I'm not letting anything take us off the gold. You know, I really wish you would listen to me. I mean, what you all are doing is suicide. Well, thank you, but I'm not asking your permission. Come on, Joe, let's go. I'll meet you at the Black Drum. There's something I have to take care of. Back so soon. You settled one dead, wouldn't think you'd be so eager to get behind the eight ball again. My father's dead. Which makes me 50% owner of the Black Drum. My condolences. Don't pretend to care. OK. What is it that you want from me? Promise. Half my stake in future profits from the Black Drum. Nice of you to be so generous to yourself. Quote me, and I'll deny I ever said it. But you and I both know my sister's the best dredger in the Bering Sea. Her haul's better than mine or anyone else's. And. What do you want in return? All my debts paid in full. And you and your men help us with our little problem. You hear that? <laughs> Boy thinks he can quit cold turkey. Son, you live for this action. You're going to be back in here making your bad bets in no time. Well, that's my problem. Until it becomes my problem. And don't take my action anymore. Oh, well, that right there, that's just, that's not in my nature. OK, you have five seconds to take the deal or it's off. I don't want happy action. I want happy boat. No way in hell. Then you're right back where you started, on your own and in over your head. Guess it's better to go with the devil, you know. Half my boat. Half the boat. Well, at least something's gone our way. Where the hell is my brother? He's never on time. Well, we finally have one thing in our favor. The storm's gone. Now, do you want to hear my plan B? Uh, yeah, sure. What? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a net back at the back of the harbor. The shrimp boat's going to come in pulling the net over, and we're going to trap them in here so that nobody's going to be able to get out. Okay. And then we're going to bring the lights Wait. in. The lights are going to. Where have you been? Excuse me, I need to check with my brother. Yeah. Figure we could use as much help as we could get, regardless of the source. What did you do? What I had to do. Joe! I want all the equipment taken out of the truck. Donna, I need you to trust me. Yeah, that's never worked out in the past. You are a human two-headed coin. Well, there's always a first time for everything. Dad went out of his way to keep him out of our business. Even during the leanest of times, he wouldn't take anything from Thorne because he knew what a predator he was. Believe me, I know what he is, but we need his help. Any collateral damage is on me. I got your back, baby sis. Yeah, I sure hope so. Have no fear, the cavalry is here. 
know what's worse, Thorn the freaking fish. Didn't expect to see you here. I have a moral obligation to make sure you all don't die a horrible death. Well, that's much appreciated. We can use all the help we can get. Flash kits, explosives, chicken wire. You're planning on building a fish disco? What we're going to do is we're going to fence off the harbor, lure them in, trap them, stun them with the lights, and we're going to kill them. We're going to kill every single one of them. And how are you so sure this is going to work? Are you 100% certain it won't? Nothing's 100%. Well, then I say we cut the friendly chit-chat and we get to work. Because what's happening right here, it's not making our odds any better. Come on, let's go. I want him to have an accident of the permanent nature. You understand me? Got it almost there. All right, All right hold on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. All right, good. Hold on, let me start it up. All right, go. It's hot. It's hot. Let's go. Right. Got him on there. Yeah, yeah, yes, you do. Got it. Yep. Good, good, good. Let's go. Go, go. Come on. We all set? Yeah. We're good? It's working! They're coming! Be ready! Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. Oh right, do it, do it, do it. Oh. Go, 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 right! Oh. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Give me that. Get the hell out of here! Yeah! Nice! Rip. Nice! Yeah, nice! Good job! Bigger. I counted six! No, 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 no,
gets all his money. You have no idea. What is that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it. Wait, don't worry about Just it? Just don't worry okay, about well, it. do you know something I don't know? Shut up. So shut up. Annoying. <gasps> Guys, get down, get down, Joe, get down. What just happened? We just got very, very lucky. I didn't even think it would work that well. I just, I, I was just trying to find a way to fend it off. Explain. Growing lights use an intense and isolated wave of the UV spectrum naturally shielded by the atmosphere everywhere. In other words, English. We found the sea vampire's kryptonite. Regular light stuns them, but high intensity light kills them. This is good. Yeah. Owen. You've been pacing back and forth for like an hour. Sit down, relax. Joe and Megan are on watch. Come on. Um. Okay, I'm going around the corner. If you hear anything, warn them. I've got it. I'm just, I'm just amped up. It's like that feeling I used to get after a big game. Football? Yeah. Yeah, after college, I was supposed to go pro, but I, uh, I hurt myself and I, I didn't handle it too well. Tough break. Yeah. Football was everything to me. I didn't know what I was gonna do after that. And the phone rang, and it was my ex-girlfriend, and it turns out I had a one-year-old son. And she couldn't take care of him anymore, so I, I stepped in and became a single father. That's amazing. Scared the hell out of me. I bet. You know, but the reality is, you know, my son saved my life. And I own everything. And that's why I'm here. I need to make as much money as I can so I can you know, give him the life that he deserves. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Sounds like my dad. I mean, it's the best thing that could ever happen to anyone. You know, I can't agree with you more. Listen. I think we're, uh, we're in a good position. We know their weakness. They're gonna be on our turf till the sun comes up. So I think that gives us a pretty sizable home court advantage, don't you think? What did you have in mind? The 
not even in my top ten. Show off, Mom, let's go. Uh, get off. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Would Jacques Cousteau run from the face of danger? No. Turn his back on what could be the single greatest evolutionary discovery in the millennium? Jacques Cousteau couldn't handle this. Well, I guess you're in luck then. There's one right there, right there, right there, right there. Get him. Yeah, good, 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 good. There's nothing going on. It's really quiet. Joe, you see anything in the front? It's unusually quiet right now. Wait, what is that? What? what? Where? Where? Over there. No, it's nothing. We're good. Don't scare me like that. Yeah, no. I think okay. we're, I think we're good. It's... I always like to keep something up my sleeve just in case. Can you make more of those? Yeah, and now that I know they work, I got a few other ideas I think you're gonna like. I'd like to help with those. Okay. Rather change of heart. Being on the wrong side of the menu was sobering. Glad to see you come around. Let's go, come on. Give me a solid. What do you have on you anyway, Joe? Whatever it was doesn't matter now, does it? <sighs> Guess not. How do you want to play this? Take it to them. Let's kill them where they live. That's what I hoped you'd say. Looks like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Where'd you learn how to do all this? My old man and I used to uh, restore classic cars when I was a kid. Taught me everything I needed to know about electronics and, and engines. All the do's and the don'ts. I should say I uh, had a lot more fun with the don'ts. <laughs> taught me how to blow stuff up. Made me pretty popular with the neighborhood kids. Got to have my own fireworks show any day of the week. Bet you never thought you'd be using it for this. No, never in my wildest dreams. What about you? At what point did you, uh, Say to yourself, you want to dedicate your life to the study of uh, fish. Well, I used to spend a lot of time with my grandparents when I was growing up, and they lived about a mile away from one of the nicest beaches you ever want to see. I used to just spend hours with my grandpa collecting crabs and 
snails and starfish and buckets. So as I got older, it only seemed natural to move on to bigger fish. Oh. Be careful what you wish for. More like a death ship. Even better. Oh, come on. Megan and Owner here. Let's go. Come on, let's do this. What do we have? Oh, wow. Nice. All right. This isn't going to be pretty, but now we know what makes them tick. It gives us an advantage, but we'll be coming at them in their home turf. Of course, you know, Murphy's always part of the equation. Murphy? Murphy's law. If anyone wants out, speak up now. I won't hold it against you. I got nowhere else to be. I got to do whatever it takes to get us back on that gold, right? Let's do this before I change my mind. Get that. Get this. Get that big one right here. Help me, Joe. Tape under the bridge and under the back up. Got it. Hey, buddy. He's dead. What am I doing? Well, I'm, uh, I'm hunting monsters. No, I'm not teasing you. These are, these are real live monsters. Well, because they're protecting the gold, and we gotta fight them for it. They live at the bottom of the ocean, in caves, and that's where the gold is. Exactly. Just like the dragon in your book. Buddy, listen, I don't have much time. So I just uh, wanted to call and see how you're doing and tell you that I miss you. Yeah, well, when I get back, we're going to go on a trip. So I want you to start thinking about places you want to go, OK? All right. All right, I love you, too. All right. Bye-bye. Seems like a great kid. Yeah, he's... He's the most important thing in the world to me. <laughs> My dad was a single dad, too. I don't know how he did it. I can't imagine raising a kid in this day and age. I have enough trouble getting myself through the day. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Harder than hunting sea vampires? You know, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay, we're here. Right back where we started. There you go. I thought the games began. This is for you, Dad. I'm coming for you, suckers.
There's no way we can fix this out here. I'd rather put a bullet in my own brain than go down with this ship and let those things get me. Listen, the drum's going down no matter what. Why don't we let it go down with a purpose? Why don't we let it go down with a bang? <sighs> what did you have in mind? If we move fast, I can rig it to explode. I can put together a UV combustion bomb, and I can blow us sky high. All right, all right, let's do it. Joe, cover us with the, with the, with the UV cannons. Come on. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, good. 
Okay, good job. Good job. Death, the black drum puts up a fight. Always has. I sure hope this thing doesn't die because I don't have an Emmy to paddle back in. Whoa, watch Joe! out! Joe! Joe! Whoa, Joe! Joe! Oh my gosh, Joe, are you okay? Uh, oh my gosh, is he okay? What's wrong with him? Kill it! Kill it! I am, I am! Joe, are you okay? Joe, just keep it going. I am, I'm killing kill it. it! Kill it! I'm trying, I'm getting it, hold on! Joe, look at me. Look at me. Are you okay? Let me see. Let me see. It's not that bad. Okay. All right. Yeah, you, you're good. You're good. I mean, same old, same old. Always wind up carrying your ass. Not true. Yeah? Well, name one time you ever had to carry me. Huh? Halloween, 1992. You twisted your ankle and you didn't want to go home, so I carried you piggyback the whole night. Yeah. I didn't want to go home. With a wee candy haul to dad. He used to weigh out our candy. He'd trade his candy for gold ounce for ounce. Double ounces for Snickers, remember? Take it back. You have carried me. You know, I'm, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. Well, hopefully it's a gold leaf, right? I'll get us back on the gold, promise. All right, I'm taking your word for it. Now, can you try not to bleed to death before we make it back to shore? Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I know, and after everything you've done for us, I know you have a place in this boat for life. So if you still want it. I knew I'd get on your good side sooner or later. Hey, hey. <laughs> Think we got them all? Well, if not, at least think twice about coming back at us. Live for the gold. Die for the gold. But not this time. <laughs> here, here. You know, after everything, Nome's a pretty beautiful place. But it's not trying to kill you. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the hell home. What do you say? Yes, yeah? please. Let's go home. Can we just go home? Let's go. <laughs> 